What is up you guys? Back at y'all with another video and I'm today discussing the next prospect in college football that can be on an even higher level than Trevor Lawrence. If you have not hit the subscribe button down below, be sure to hit it. Join our fun and amazing college football community. We keep it Canes focused, but all college football news here. Please hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Let's get into it. Now, the first guy that you want to know is obviously Trevor Lawrence. What did he do in high school to compare up to this guy? Trevor Lawrence threw for 3,290 yards with 41 touchdowns and one pick. Pretty impressive. This guy, 3,366 yards, about 100 yards a little bit over than him with 48 passing touchdowns and seven interceptions. He had a little bit more interceptions, but a little bit more touchdowns. This guy is the Gator the Player of the Year, number one athlete that everybody wants at the pro-style quarterback position, and his name is DJ Ugalele. Now, I probably mispronounced his name. I tried my best, y'all, but this guy has got some bulk to him. Coming in at 6'4", 240 pounds, he is, of course, a five-star prospect with offers from all of the big schools. I expect this guy to make huge news, and so before I just talk and talk and give you guys my thoughts, I'm going to throw you guys some actual highlights of his junior film tape, and y'all tell me what you think of him down in the comment sections down below and the team that you guys think he's probably going to choose. Now, you got to keep in mind here, he's running and scrambling, but coming in 6'4 and 240 pounds, he's not your fastest guy, but he is hardest guy to take down. He's so big. Look at these dimes that he throws. This, this guy has really good vision, and he's able to do it with his height. At 6'4, he can see the whole daggum field, and he just throws guys perfectly in stride. It is impressive what he's able to do. And it's surprising to me that he's not a dual threat, really. Um, I guess he doesn't care to run around coming to that kind of size. But if you do want to try to sack him, good luck. He's probably bigger than you. <laughs> I mean, shoot. I don't remember seeing it, such a big quarterback on this kind of level being a pro style. You usually see these guys scrambling around or bulldozing people. But he's got a cannon, y'all. I mean, he throws such really accurate, fast spirals. They're just clean cuts. They're, they're beautiful. They're perfect. And he uses his height to advantage to be able to see the whole field, make really good recognitions on the defense, and just throw dimes to his players. I, I just, I, you can't ask for better balls than this guy. And he's only in his junior season. He beat out, actually, if you all watched the quarterback one show, he beat out the starter quarterback back then on the show because the guy was just not being, and Real Mitchell was not being accurate, not giving enough juice to the team. Um, he was a three-star prospect, went to Iowa State, and DJ just took over the job, and the coaches never looked back. I mean, he just balling here. And he's got offers from, I mean, literally 30 schools, I think, last I checked, from all of the top name programs, Bama, Oregon, USC. Now, keep in mind, he's a St. John Bosco kid, and it's in Cali located, so um, he might be leaning to stay at home, hence the USC has kind of a lean. But currently, the predictors are saying he's a heavy lean to Clemson. Bama's obviously up in contention. I think it will be a close one between Clemson, USC, and maybe Oregon to wherever this guy goes. I think he, wherever he goes, wants to step up and be the starter immediately. So for him going to Clemson would be a bit of a surprise because Trevor Lawrence has several more years left to go. But honestly, this guy can easily ball out and take a team to a national championship just as Trevor Lawrence did in his freshman year. I mean, look at these passes. They are on the money, just perfectly right there on the numbers in the chest. It's just amazing how he goes through his progression and he throws the ball in a way where the wide receiver can catch in perfect timing, but it's so daggum fast that they just, it's impressive to me. It's impressive to me. But keep in mind, he's a pocket passer. You'll rarely ever see this guy run. He rarely will, and he just stays there, goes through progressions, waits for the guys. But here, look, he's getting pressure from the defensive end, steps up into the pocket, throws a perfect ball to the wide-open guy. I mean, look how long it takes this play to develop. 
It, he, but he threw it down to his check down perfectly in the crossing route. It's, 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 it's amazing. It's amazing to me. Now, they do feature a little bit of his rushing attack, which is interesting to me. And like I said, 6'4", 240 pounds. He's not the fastest guy, but he's so daggone big. Every step that he takes is like stinking 10 yards, so why not, you know? But he's actually a pro-style quarterback. He'd much rather pass the ball than run. But he can be elusive. He can be quite the nifty guy to tackle. And he did a good job in protecting himself also, going to the sideline, which um, I kind of expect him to lower the shoulder sometimes, but he doesn't care. He's trying taking no chances and protecting his six foot four frame. <laughs> I mean, he's towering over the whole field. He's so him tall and big. But that's the thing that sticks out is this category to me. His packing ac passing accuracy and power is pretty ridiculous. He just he never throws up a throw that's like kind of questionable. It is always pinpoint on the money, hits the wide receivers in stride, and it's usually the best option that's open down the field because he goes through all of his progressions. If you're open, he's going to get you the ball. A I I can see him be a very prolific passer for a team that you know plays an offensive style kind of like Oregon but they've gone away a little bit from that under Mario Crystal Ball and running a little bit more hence he likes Clemson but Clemson done a one-two punch it's interesting to me though he's definitely leaning to programs I would expect that are much more on the air raid passing schemes than using a dual threat quarterback but it may be that the coaches say hey man why the heck you don't run you can run just as well Guys, I'd really appreciate it and ask you guys to do one thing. If you ever do any shopping on Amazon, could you do one thing for me? Any of my videos, you just go down there in the description, click on any of these affiliate links. You don't have to buy the product that's in the link, but you can. Any product that you look up on Amazon, heck, if you want to look, Miami versus Florida Gators, see this book right here, and I wanted to buy it. Bam, if you buy it, a small percentage revenue goes to me. It helps out. 100% of that revenue is going to go to the channel quality, improvements on all levels of all sorts. I'd greatly appreciate it, guys. Thanks.